gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJA9ZT, and we're back with WWE Champions and another five-star bronze character gameplay preview video. And today, we got the elusive one. We got the dragon Ricky Steamboat finally in the game. Uh, he's been in game for quite some time. A lot of us have seen him for a while. I mean, year, maybe like two years ago, you used to be able to do this little trick sort in your roster and see that he was in the game. But, uh, yeah, they fixed that a long time ago, so it ain't going to work. But, anyways, we've been waiting for him for a long time, and I finally got this for you, so let's get into it. Here we go. All right, we got the dragon, Ricky Steamboat. This is that old gear when he had came back to WWE, when he used to... He used to climb up on the turnbuckles and blow fireballs and that. I always thought that was super cool when I was a kid. I loved this version as a kid. That's wild there. I wouldn't have wanted to have to wear that every time, though. <laughs> Dress it up like a dragon. The fire breather. See, his poster still says fire breather. It's whatever, whatever. Anyways, let's take a look at his coaching ability. Trap gems do 50% more damage, and at 9k moves that generate trap gems will create one more. So we got a trap gem coach now, nice. Links, WCW, and Legends Era. See, now he's listed as a Legends. This is, that's questionable to me that this version would be Legends Era. I would have called this version one of the very earliest new gen guys maybe i don't know i don't know what was this like 91 92 i guess i guess late legends era late legends era i don't know i don't know but we got big boss man listed as new gen right see it's whatever <laughs> Wait, one more thing in the poster. I always show you guys what the four and five star moves are. So the four star move will be the knife edge chop. The five star move will be the superplex. So when we're thinking about builds, and let me tell you, this man has some builds, a lot of different builds, a lot of builds. This is how he comes standard. I haven't even done a single match yet, guys. We are going to learn together. But after looking over the moves, I'm like, this is going to work. I don't need to practice a bunch. We're just going to get into it because I know this is going to work. So the first thing I'm going to show you is we're going to put this sub in here right here. All right. This would be a, a pretty standard three star move set. So we got the finisher diving cross body 10 charge deal 57,728 damage and choose a three by three area to destroy. We got the sleeper hold, seven charge blue, submission, generate 16 random sub gems and do 8691 damage for five turns while sub gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into multiply gems of strength four. And then we got the arm drag, classic Ricky Steamboat arm drags. One charge green, deal 10,773 damage and gain three blue MP. So... We're going to be flying through blue there. So what I thought was, let's go to the Entourage. Let's get a uh, move charge here. And let's get Lawler on there, okay? <clears throat> so that's going to start with more blue. And then, let's go with Matt Hardy. Those multiply gems should be strength six that come off of the uh, sub then. Coaching ability, let's get Andre on there. And I don't really know. It doesn't really matter. Uh, maybe Tazawa. Because I think I'm going to do a match against Edge. We'll see. All right, we're going to go like that. <clears throat> First match, there will be no sub. But again, there's not really anything, unless I had blue gem damage or something like that, there's not really anything that's going to help me out here. So I'm going to go with Tozawa. And we're going out here at the Royal Rumble Tour, match six. I think this is book three normal, tour three normal, whatever they call it. And... 
I don't really think I'm going to need props much, but we'll get a couple things set up just in case. So remember, this will be our, our first three star. There's actually two three star movesets that I would consider using. So The black moves aren't going to be no slouch either. Now, I can't show every single moveset, guys. The matches take too long now. So there it was, blowing the fire in the corner. I like it. I like it. All right, so turn one. Now, I have uh, the tour perk, so I would be one move point short of this usually, but we're turn one sub in this man, which is nice, because this Randy Savage right here usually comes loaded. So when I faced him every other time, he's hit his moves turn one on me, so I'm happy that he's not going to be able to do that today. Now, these should go into strength six, and they are. So it says that there's no entourage effect, but as you can see, the multiply gems are definitely still strength six. Arm drag's gonna fill the finisher there. So we could choose a three by three area to destroy. And all you gotta do is just hit your blue gems. And that's gonna fill up. Even just one times six with those other two, that should fill. No, it didn't. Okay, yeah, because it's ten charge. But we're hitting the sub next turn anyways, so. We are in firm control right now. Now, one thing I will say is the damage output wasn't very big there, but the uh, the recycling is going to be huge. If we can get him to a point where he ain't got no red on the board, we're going to be pretty good. I'm just going to go ahead with the sub gems because I want multiply gems on the board when I hit that finisher. Like I say, you get... It's only eight charge for that sub, so if I can get one, two multiply gems, you're feeling both of your blue moves... If I can get one of them and one more blue gem, I can at least fill the sub. But regardless, I guess you only need five charge. You get one of them, you're going to hit the sub. Because that green move is still going to give you the MP. But I have no blue multipliers now. I'm going to go ahead and hit the arm drag. Let's fill that sub up a little bit more. And let's go ahead and choose a 3x3 three three here. Now, I can get three blue gems without any multipliers here. still going to be enough to hit the sub again. We want to just keep hitting that sub. He's got that strap. That gem damage is brutal. I think I missed the turn of hitting the arm drag there. He should hit the arm drag no matter what. There we go. Sleeper hold again. His gem damage output is way higher than mine because he's all strapped up. All right, let's hit that finisher. Three by three area. I see a blue time six on the board too. Let's go ahead and get that for show. And he's going to hit his moves. He's very low charge. So even with the sub happening every three turns or so, it's pretty hard to, to get him off these four charge moves. But as long as we keep that yellow move from going off, it should be pretty decent here taking a lot of damage in this match now this isn't going to be the ideal build again this is again this is the three star setup this is early early stuff here drags arm drags arm drags again no blue multipliers on the board for this here so
board's been a little ugly. Now, we're definitely going to win here. And again, you got to take with a grain of salt the fact that the people that I'm going up against are going to be completely strapped out. So, they're way nerfing my gem damage. They're way buffing their output. And I have no strap on my guy, so... Even level one medals, you strap somebody just with the just with the basic buffs from the class of medals that you use will make a world of difference on anybody. Alright, so, no problem. We took a lot of damage on that one, but again, like I say, if, you, if I was strapped out there and I had on, like, if I had a double fury set on that, like, the damage output, we would have we would have finished him three cycles ago. So, we really need to get a system down where we can get some straps to put on the preview superstars. All right, well, let's go back in and show you what we can really do against Mr. Savage here. So that was one move set. Now, <clears throat> he also at three star has these two black moves. They're both four charge. The jumping in Zaguri deal 25,217 damage and choose a column to make into multiply gems of strength four. And the standing drop kick deal 25,017 damage and choose a row to make into multiply gems of strength four. So if you put Hardy on there, every time you break black, you're going to do like an entire shift of those. <laughs> like it's crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and sub these in now. And what I would think, uh, and then at four star, you get the uh, knife edge chop, choose a two by two area to make into cross break gems on a two charge. Let's just go ahead and put that in there with a board full of multipliers. So we won't need Lawler anymore. Now we really don't need a move point trainer at all with four charge and two charge. <clears throat> so we could put some damage output on here. Maybe like a slick Rick on here or something for this set. You know what I'm saying? Because we needed a little more damage output last time. Coaches ain't really going to matter. I mean, I could put Zombie Cena on there and get a little buff on them crossbreak gems, but it's whatever. Let's see if this does any better here. Then we're going to get into the five-star set, into the three-color setup, and things should work out pretty well for us there. Actually, these moves would work well with the five-star moveset, too. There's a tri-color build, plus the five-star move breaks multiply gems, so it would have been really good to use with these black moves. There's just there's so many different setups we could do, and I don't have time to do all of them today, so... I thought I had tour perks to get an extra move point. Oh, I never actually upgraded it. Okay, so I was wrong in that first match at the beginning when I said you couldn't hit that sub on turn one. Because I don't have the tour perk with the extra move point. Because if I did, I would have hit that two charge on turn one here. Alright, choose a two by two area to make into cross break gems. So you just got to figure out where you can break gems at. Like that. And then Boom! Every other turn, you're going to hit that, though, too. Every other turn, for sure, you can do the crossbreak gems. Now that I got the times four ready to go. Now, if I would have had the tour perk on for the extra move point, and then I would have put Bray on there, you would have hit all three of these moves on turn one. You would have did big damage on turn one. So, keep that in mind. I really didn't think it was going to be super beneficial to hit the times four on turn one. Like, I thought the gem damage might be better for me. But again, like, I'm taking a beating. This Savage is no slouch, man. Taking a beating already. But I, again, I don't know. Like, I really don't know 
without using straps on all these guys, what can we do to not take a beating? Unless your guy can can beat a five star guy in three turns, there's no way you're not gonna take a beating when you make a preview now. So I see people I've seen people saying like that shouldn't matter, blah blah blah, that shouldn't matter. Your guy should be able to win anyway if he's strong enough. That's just that just sounds dumb. That really just sounds dumb. If you think that it shouldn't matter that the opponents are completely strapped out and we aren't, like, you have no clue what you're talking about. Sorry to say. Let's do this down here. Okay. Then we're going to go like this. And we're going to break those. Bow! That was 325,000 baseline. But of course, when you got a strapped out Savage, there, he's kicking straight out. He's kicking straight out. That's the other thing there. If he didn't, if he's not furied, I bet he's furied, right? Yeah, he's got Fury and Armor on, so... So he nerfed what I hit him with, and then he buffed what he could kick out with. Column into Multiply. Again, you're trying to catch a cup, like, one Multiply Black Gem, and you're trying to hit at least one Green Gem. And then the rest, I'm trying to break Blue, because it's our strongest gem. Do I want to hit that over there? I could break the purples. Alright, let's do that. Yeah, because that's going to go... Okay, I got an idea. Alright, we're going to put that there. We're going to hit this. I see the purples, guys. I see the purples. I do. And we're going to go, BOW! We're going to break that all up. 451,000 baseline. Watch, he'll put 293 there. Oh, he's not going to kick out this time. We finally got his health low enough. There we go. There we go. That was some big one right there. 425,000. So at four star, I like that move set for damage output. If you uh, if you got your guy strapped up there, like if I had double fury on that, ooh, would be you'd be hitting for a million. You hit that correctly, you'd be hitting for a million. Could do some super big damage with that setup. All right, let's look at one more thing. We got to do one more because we haven't put the five star move in yet. I'm tired of Randy Savage. Let's go against Edge. Let's do it. Let's do somebody else here. Ooh, we got the exact same talent, too. Alright, so the five-star move. We got the superplex. Deal 42,946 damage and choose six multiply gems to destroy. So you could use that with the two black moves there. And you could super recycle that because you would just always have the blue and the black ready every turn. That would actually be super nasty, too, probably. But it would be less damage per turn because you're only going to pick six every turn. And once the blue gems run out, you would not be doing a ton of damage. So if you had no blue gems on the board, you'd get stuck. And then you wouldn't be able to fill that move up for quite some time. But what I wanted to do, everybody always likes to see the triple colors set up. And I think that this could work too. I think this could work well. So what we're going to do to show you is the triple blue. So, we're going to go with the sleeper hold, the superplex, and the diving crossbody. Now, I could put the one, the arm drag in instead of the finisher, and we could have the submission as our finisher, and then the superplex would be destroying uh, multiply gems that the sleeper hold left behind. But I kind of want to just try triple blue, right? That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. 
I don't know. Do we need to use... Do we need to use Slick Rick here, or would we rather use Matt? Probably rather use Matt. So let's get Lawler back on here. Lawler and Andre, let's go triple blue. Let's see how we do. Just in case Edge gets any idea that he's going to whoop my ass, we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, last match, guys. This preview's running long already. These matches take too long now. I feel like I should just go back to beating up Seth Rollins on the Superstar Tour like we used to do. I could have did six matches in the same amount of time. All right. Oh, no blue break. We really needed that blue break. We're going to get one. Oh, we got, we got a couple gems there. We got a couple. We're good to go. Now, this one, the key to this flow is going to be to hit the sub first. Hit the sub first. Stay on top of him. None of those landed on a blue gem. What you really want is those sub gems to hit blue. And none of them did. Not one. Not even a single one. Two six multiply gems to destroy. See right there, if we had one blue six times, we'd be looking pretty freaking solid. Alright, now, I have a blue break up top. If I take this time six right here, that's going to drop a blue into place. So, I want to stay away from columns three, four, and five for the rest of these breaks to ensure I get that blue. So, anything else I break cannot be in those. take some of the colors that he needs just to get some of them off the board there we go look at that blue looking good now blue looking good now let's go ahead and hit that sub again let's go ahead and hit that sub again now there's a couple blues on there I feel like it's overkill with the blue, though, right? Like, I feel like the one charge might have been better than having the finisher on here. Because at what point do I want to hit the finisher over the move that chooses multiplies to destroy? I don't know. Maybe right now. I don't know. Or maybe not now. Because, yeah, this isn't going to give me any blue. So... Yeah, that'd be probably best. So next turn, I'll hit the finisher and try to hit an area with some blue gems. Alright, now we're hitting that point where there's no blue on the board. Now it gets interesting. <coughs> what can we do to get back in this thing? Well, I'm going to go here. That's going to take two blues out. And it's going to take three purples and a black off the board from him. Can't believe he didn't break the black gems. Cannot believe it. I better get rid of them suckers right away. Ooh, I'm one turn away. I'm going to hit the sub first again. And I'm going to take these black gems just to make sure he doesn't get any tricky ideas over here. Alright, here comes the sub. So we did get caught there. That would have been... Now, see, if I would have had the one charge arm drag on instead of the finisher there, it would have been a lot better for me because I would have been able to charge them moves up a while ago. So again, there's a lot of setups, and I only had time to show you a couple of them, but I'm sure you'll see some more in some of the other creators' videos, so make sure to check those out, too. Nothing but loot boxes there. Oh, well, we're doing some farming. 
Doing some farming. Still blues wiped here. Alright, back in control. Back in control. Go ahead and hit this sub again. Submission, pretty decent. Recycling, pretty good. He's got movesets you can design specifically to recycle. I think probably the arm drag with the... I think the arm drag, the sleeper hold, and the superplex is probably going to be your best look, though. Just being honest. This should end it right here. We're going to go hit these blue gems down here. If it doesn't end it, we're going to submit him next turn. That should be it. Good night. Good night, Edge. Now, the triple blue can work there. The triple blue can definitely work. You get uh, any blue gems on the board? You got any props that can make extra blue gems for you? You'd be looking pretty solid, guys. Looking pretty solid, but... This was a long preview, man. These matches are out of control. I might have to start breaking it up and doing, like, a separate video for each moveset. Let me know if you guys want that instead of the way I do it now. So you can see just specific builds. I don't know. Maybe I'll try that with my next preview superstar. We'll see, guys. We will see. But what do you think about Ricky Steamboat, the dragon, the fire breather, whatever you want to call him? He's finally going to be in game. And, uh, yeah, I think he's pretty decent acrobat. And I think that if I had him strapped up to match the opponents, that he would have handled them with ease. I was never really in danger of losing any of those three matches, but... I did take a lot of damage because with the buffs and the nerfs, it was very hard to put them away early. So it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, let me know guys down in the sub. Uh, I can't even talk right now. Let me know down in the comments what you think about Ricky Dragon Steamboat. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. It's the big red button. It's right underneath the video player. It says subscribe on it. Click that button for me, guys. And while you're down there, drop an insane elbow right down on that thumbs up button for me. That stuff helps me out tremendously, guys. It's free to you. It takes like one second. Why wouldn't you do that for me? So anyways, until next time, guys, peace.